I'm William. I'm an incoming sophomore at Monte Vista High School, and my project is a ball tracking robot, and this is my modification video. So I made two modifications. The first one is a Bluetooth app that allows you to manually control the ball, I mean the robot, and it allows you to switch between automatic and manual mode. I did this by connecting a HC05 Bluetooth module to the robot, and this allows it to receive the Raspberry Pi to receive uh, Bluetooth inputs. I created the app using an online tool called MIT App Inventor that made I created the user interface and what the Bluetooth would send to the Pi when any button was pressed. So I'll demo it. So right now it's in normal mode, so it'll just track the ball. If I can switch it to manual mode, and now it does not respond to the ball at all. I can make it turn right. Turn left, reverse, and go forward. And if I switch it to automatic mode again, it'll start responding to the ball. Um, my second modification was um, a web server that takes the input from the camera and displays it onto the web server. I did this using Apache and Flask, which are two commonly used web server applications for Python. And so right now it's running. And the video from this camera is put on here, as well as the uh, the red pixel that the robot actually processes. So if I move it around, you can see it changes live. So I think the biggest challenge with these two modifications was the second modification because it involves a lot of HTML, which I had never worked with before. So I didn't know many HTML commands and how the language actually worked. So it took me a while to get used to that, but once I did it, it came together and it became a pretty good modification. And after this, I would like to implement object detection because I actually got a model to work in the past, but it was far too slow. So I would like to experiment with different models to see if any of them actually work.